Hello and welcome to another episode of The Elegant Life. Today we are talking about how I manifested and went from a life of struggle, drama, lack, to one of fulfillment and purpose and true, true abundance. So if that interests you, stay tuned. So if you're new to this video, my name is Erin Kurt and I am a spiritual teacher and an energy healer who really assists women around the world in knowing and embodying how to live and manifest an exquisite life for themselves. This is this whole topic. You know, why am I an expert to talk about this? Because I've done it. And I've had a very strong spiritual experience that has helped me and helped me be able to teach it, to use my natural teaching abilities to teach this to you. Over the past month, I've been speaking to women all over the world. And one woman summed it up perfectly on the last day I had a call with her. She said, Erin, just really tell me, what is it that really made the difference for you to switch over from being in lack to start being able to manifest abundance? to live a life the way you envision in your head. Because this person had been doing all the EFT and all the affirmations and all this kind of stuff that you're supposed to do, but nothing was happening. And when I really listened to this question, I thought I've got to do a series on this. So this is the beginning of what's going to be a really specific series. And I'm gonna open my journals and get very vulnerable with you because you'll see where I was, how my thinking was, what my understanding was, what was my self-concept of myself, and where it is now. You'll see the difference so that you can actually see it takes practice to change your thinking, to change your actions. And that's what we're gonna be doing. Are you excited? If you are, please be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell because you really want to see every single video in this series. The very first thing that I wanna to talk to you about that relates to what really, really was the clincher, the change for me, was when I had my spiritual experience, but it wasn't fully over then. It was a, a gradual expansion of my understanding of my outer concept of myself and my inner concept of myself. Now by outer concept of myself, it means all that I believe about myself in relation to what's outside of me, in my outer world. So my self-concept is how good of a person do I think I am based on what's in the collective consciousness as what's bad to do or not bad to do? Am I clumsy? Am I stubborn? Is it hard for me to lose weight? Am I just genetically built to hold weight or a big structure? Do I always have to work hard? Because in my culture, working hard gets you success. Am I shy? Am I a personable person? What do you have as an outer self-concept? One that compares you constantly. One that makes you always in a state of not enoughness. So that you're going to try to constantly be achieving so that you can get to some level that is never going to be enough because there's always going to be someone who's on top of you. So it's going to be like this rat race where you never really feel good enough. You never think that you're enough, that you have the talents or the abilities. Even though you know you've got some, it's not enough. That's your outer concept. So your beliefs about yourself in comparison to others. Now, your inner concept is your beliefs around what this natural, invisible, divine intelligence inside of you is. We all know that we are made up of energy, right? We are 99.999999% energy. This is divine source energy. And the uniqueness of it is our soul because it's got certain programming to it. So that's the uniqueness, but it's still connected to that divine source. That soul energy has all of the attributes of divine energy and one of them being <gasps> expansion. So your inner concept has to do with your beliefs about what this internal divine invisible intelligence 
can do for you, what it's able to do, what's possible for it and what's not possible for it, how much of it will you need and how much of it is going to have to be you pushing, 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 pushing. Those beliefs are not even interested in achieving, comparing, judging, or, or, and this might shock you, even happiness. It's only interest is in expansion. And you'll feel the stirring of it inside. This byproduct of joy and thrill and just bliss. Why? That's a byproduct of it sensing that you're doing something that is expanding yourself. So you have a lot of beliefs. The woman that I was speaking to and a lot of the women that I speak to, they do not have enough of a concept, enough of an embodiment that they are that divine energy. That could be because of your outer concept that you are separate from God, source energy. And I'll tell you something. If you cannot get past this separation, then this integration, this life of ease and flow and easy abundance and joy and fulfillment and bliss, it is really going to be your life struggle. And I'm going to be so blatant and honest. And the reason I can say that, ladies, is because that was me. I always said that I was a spiritual person since I was a little kid. But I could not, and I actually didn't know that I was energetically part of this source energy. I thought I was separate, that I was created by it, but that I was put here and that when I died, I would go back to it. But I never thought, I never knew, I never embodied that while I'm on this earth, I'm actually never disconnected because everything is energy. There is no separation. Even, even with me and you, you're watching this now, there is no separation. So there is a skill and a technique for getting to really know this. Now, I was blessed that I had an actual experience of being at one with this energy. And after that, I came out feeling like I, I had the sun in me. And I just had a knowingness and a trust and a faith that, well, I am that source. And so when I ask for something, it can definitely come true. It can happen. And I'm not going to get so involved in it unless I'm called, inspired to do something. And then I'll do that. And I'm going to use my outer self concept, my the, the way I look, my talents and abilities, the way I like to dress, uh, my interests, you know, in, in elegance and Francophile lifestyle and food and nutrition and well-being. I'm going to use all of that to help expand this concept. And what do you think I feel on a daily basis when I wake up in the morning? This is why I get excited. This is why I glow because this is coming from an inner, an inner energy that creates excitement naturally as a byproduct when it feels expansive because its very nature and essence is expansive. It is expansion, the epitome of expansion. It is everywhere omnipresent. So the first step is knowing how to, because we're on the physical earth, merge this outer concept, the physical you, and the inner concept, the spiritual soul you, and know how to merge them together and start living an elegant way, an elegant spiritual lifestyle. That is what I'm going to get into in the very next video. I'm going to share with you how you start doing this, okay? So again, if you haven't already subscribed, you want to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you back here next week. Your elegant assignment for this week is this. Write a list of all of the beliefs you have about your outer sense of concept, okay? So your, your self-concept of your outer, I am intelligent. I am spiritual. 
it takes me longer to lose weight than others. All, all these kind of things, okay? I think I'm a good person. I'm a very generous person. The good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. All of your beliefs about yourself. And then the inner ones. What truthfully, and, and you, ladies, look, you're going to see, I'm going to get really vulnerable. So get vulnerable with yourself. Be honest. How much do you really know and trust this infinite intelligence inside? Do you really think that it's always working for you, that it is right now in the process organizing everything for you? On a scale of one to 10, what is your faith level? What are your beliefs about what it can and cannot do for you? All right, this is very important. And then come back next week and we'll get all into the nitty gritty. Make it an elegant week and we will see you next time. Thank you.